Entertainment Luxury. Ludacris moved to Atlanta during his high school years and attended Banneker High School. He was born Christopher Bridges on September 11, 1977, in Champaign, Illinois. As DJ Chris Lova Lova, he worked as a disc jockey at the Atlanta-based urban station Hot 97.5, later renamed Hot 107.9, where he first met Timbaland. This was how he got his start in the rap industry. Ludacris, who is also an actor and has dominated both fields, has enjoyed a highly successful career, highlighted by three Grammy Awards, an MTV Award, and a VMA Award. He has been involved in the music scene since 1998 and is now widely respected. Today we'll be taking a look at the top 8 luxury buys of Ludacris. Before we start don't forget to poke that like button and subscribe. Number 1 Mercedes Maybach GLS 600 Even before the GLS 600 reached the dealerships, Ludacris had his hands on one. The actor posted a video of his SUV on Instagram, showing off its air suspension system as he drove it. This vehicle was made especially for the actor. The GLS 600 begins at $160,500, but Ludacris improvements increased the price to $200,000. The exterior of Ludacris Mercedes Maybach GLS 600 is two-tone, and the interior is lined with Nappa leather. It has heated, ventilated seats with a massaging function, two 12.3-inch screens, a Burmester 3D surround sound system, and these amenities. The sprint time for the GLS 600 is 4.8 seconds from 0 to 60 miles per hour. We see Ludacris knows how to roll out. Number 2 Netflix Series Chris Ludacris Bridges, a rapper, created Karma's World. A 10-year-old girl named Karma Grant, voiced by Asian Bryant, is followed in the animated Netflix series as she navigates life in her tight-knit Brooklyn neighborhood and pursues her passion for hip-hop. Karma's World has been in the works for more than 10 years, and it was inspired by the oldest of Bridges' four daughters. Long before the 2021 Netflix series premiere, Number 3 22 acres of land, even though most people would agree that there is no place like home, Ludacris didn't seem to have much of an understanding of it until the COVID-19 pandemic. In an interview with The Ellen DeGeneres Show on Tuesday, June 22, Ludacris discussed what he recently discovered was on his land, but had previously been unaware of. He said, referring to his house, this is probably the best property to quarantine at, besides your house. I have like 22 acres of land. I'm so used to traveling and never being here, so I'm finally able to enjoy the fruits of my labor. The Atlantan went on to say, I'm finding things in my home and on my property that I never even knew were there. I have a tennis court if you can believe it or not. I never even know that this was on this property. The Southern Hospitality rapper had a list of other things he discovered on his property during the pandemic like tree houses and saunas. 22 acres of land should also find a fat rabbit. Number 4 Diamond Encrusted Apple Watch A model of the Apple Watch with diamond set around the bezel has been unveiled by Ludacris. The watch was worn by Ludacris to the Teen Choice Awards on Fox, and he shared a few images of the gadget on Instagram. It appears that by going the custom route, Ludacris was able to surpass his peers who had been successful in obtaining all gold Apple Watch editions with gold link bracelets from Apple in the lead up to the release of Apple Music. Number 5 Chicken and Beer Restaurant No one would consider it entertaining to hang out in the busiest airport in the world. However, if you happen to be in Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport for a lengthy layover, actor and hip-hop superstar Ludacris hopes you'll find his little haven of delicious food and fun in Concourse D. After a lengthy wait, Chicken and Beer finally launched in 2016. Back in 2012, Ludacris excitedly announced the opening of the new eatery on Twitter in all caps, we're talking about the busiest airport on the planet. This is history. Ludacris Voice, Welcome to Atlanta. Number 6 Trill Burgers, Christopher Bridges is the most recent famous person to endorse Trill Burgers, the well-known Houston smash burger concept popularized by neighborhood rap icon Bun B. The Atlanta-based rapper, and a recurring character in Fast and Furious, 
appeared in a video broadcast on Sunday by the burger joint showing him, standing inside its recently opened South Shepherd branch. After chomping on one of the restaurant's famous double patties, Luda was at a loss for words. I'm trying to put it into words how I feel right now, Ludacris said. Oh. Woo. Number 7 Kunja Cognac. Chris Bridges made an appearance at a liquor store where he signed bottles of Kunja Cognac and posed for photos with delighted customers. Bridge and his most recent business endeavor entails joint ownership in the Cognac, which he repeatedly promoted throughout a brief conversation. Depending on the retailer, Kunja Cognac often sells for $25 to $30. In partnership with Cognac firm Burkittal Hartmann, a manufacturer of spirits since 1887, Ludacris designed and released Kunja in 2009. Ludacris differentiates himself from other celebrities who merely support liquor products and have no ownership involvement in the businesses they represent because he owns 50% of Kunja. Ludacris said, that's what I am here for, pitch the product. Number 8 New Album, Luda discussed his recording career in an interview with Tamron Hall, stating that new music would be released before the year is over, and that he plans to release a new album in 2023. We're definitely gonna get some music before the end of this year, Luda said, via a Billboard exclusive. I would say an album, probably next year. He added, it's extremely important for me to prove to people that even though I'm doing all this other stuff, make no mistake, I still got it, and I'm still as hungry. Once we hear Ludacris' new album I'm sure we'll receive some satisfaction. This is the end of Top 8 Luxury Buys Ludacris. Make sure to tap the like button, and subscribe, to see our next list. Bye for now.